How many number discs do you have there? Eight. Twenty-six. Eight. And where did you get eight from over here? Three divided by twenty-four. Twenty-four, 24 divided by thirty-six. Okay, you're right. And how many groups do you have here, Brenda? I have two or two. No, how many groups do you have here? Let's see how many. Six. How many groups do you have here? What's your divisor? Three. Three. So you have three groups and you're in your tens right now. You're distributing your tens. How many tens do you have in each group? Eight. Eight. So three. Well, actually, can you give me a multiplication sentence to match what you just did? Three times eight. Yes, you have three groups and you put eight discs in each group. So three times eight gives you what? Twenty-four. Twenty-four. So just like you said, Janissa, three, twenty-four divided by three is eight. And so we know eight times three is twenty-four. Go ahead and model on your long division. So that would be eight. So far, so, so far on the top we have eighteen. So now... Now, so what would you do with the 24? You know that 3 times 8 is 24, so what do you need to do now if, you dif if you've distributed all of your 10s? Subtract. Yes, go ahead and do that. So 24 times 24. Equals zero. So we still have, and then we bring down our six because we have our six there. So now we can take six away from six. Wait. Yeah. Yeah, six minus six. Six minus six. Wait, where did you get six from, though? Because I distributed six. 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 Well, you've distributed your six one. So give me a multiplication sentence to match that. Six minus six. Well, a multiplication sentence. So how many groups do you have here? I have three groups. Three groups. And you've distributed your six ones. How many ones in each group? Two. Two. So go ahead and write it down on your long division. Now your multiplication sentence will be what? Three times two. Yes, three times two. And three times two gives you what? Six. Six. So that's where you got your six. Don't forget your steps, okay? So six. Now what do you need to do? Subtract. Go ahead. So, so our answer is 182. That's the quotient. You got it. Great job, mathematicians.